Okay, so I've got all my sketchbooks here and we're going to go through them. Uh, last year I got a lot of slack for people not liking the fact that I um, got a new sketchbook and started one without finishing one. I'm sorry, but sometimes I get bored of a sketchbook. I try one, I don't like the paper and I find another one that I do like, so then I continue to use that one instead. So, I'm going to go through all the, these. If you have something to say about the fact that I didn't finish them, then I'm sorry. <laughs> At the start of the year, I made a goal to complete six sketchbooks, and we're going to find out today if I did that or not. Um, I've made this goal for the past two years, so 2017, actually three years, 2016, 2017 and 2018. Disclaimer, it is only November right now, uh, the 5th of November to be exact. So I've not finished this year yet, but I am in the middle of moving and I do not want to uh, pack all these stuff away without recording them first, just in case it takes a while to unpack them or move or all that stuff. So let's get into it, shall we? I did not start this sketchbook in 2018, in fact I started it in 2016, April, um, but I finished it in 2018, so we're going to show you exactly what is in this one. Um, so uh, like I said, I did start this in 2018. 17, uh, 16 and then I continued 2017 and I only did a few pieces in 2017 slash 16 in this. Um, I didn't like the paper to start with. It's a moleskin by the way, moleskin watercolour album. Um, I didn't like the paper. It was very resistant to my water colours um, and it didn't take it very well to start with but then um, I tried it again and I think I must have been doing something wrong because, um, you know, it, it started to work again. These sketches are from uh, Sims 4 drawings. Um, these are just from Pinterest animals and this is again another Sims 4 thing and this is when I actually figured out my signature that I use today. Um, it's changed a little bit over the years but it's still relatively the same as this. This is an ink tense piece of jellyfish. I was absolutely so intrigued by the colours in uh, the pictures that I saw of jellyfish that I just had to draw them and I really, really wanted to do a bigger piece like this at some point. This was in 2016 again, so we're just going to skip through these real quick because you've already seen them. Um, I got a flower book. That was fun. Um, did some drawings from those. This was a concept for a painting I was going to do for my mum and dad. As you can see, it completely failed. Some swatches, didn't even put what they were. Can't remember. I think they're Windsor & Newton Cotman, but there doesn't seem to be as many there as there would be if it was Windsor & Newton Cotman, so I'm not sure. Um, a picture that I did when a guy passed away. Uh, this is one of my favourite drawings, because this is when I started to try and do bodies so the proportions are way off and it was actually inspired by a picture that I seen Romy Shmoo do. She's absolutely amazing. Um, and we're into 2018 now. So these were sketches, uh, watercolour sketches that I wanted to do of my family so I was trying to like get personality from them. I really like the way that Matt turned out. I think that this is very accurate to the way that he is. He wears grey and black a lot and his hair is like this. Uh, Caden, I put him in his lightning pyjamas. He doesn't have lightning pyjamas but he does have blue and red pyjamas and blue and red is his favourite colour. Really like that. Hate the way I came out. Um, I like the way that the clothes came out although um, I don't like the way that I my head and stuff came out and obviously this one is like ridiculous but this is salad um playing with salad uh, i am missing a few sketchbooks i think but we're just gonna have to deal with it 
here's a mouth study in watercolour. I really want to start getting into portraits in watercolour because I believe that you can get cool textures and stuff. But I'm just a bit scared right now to do it in watercolour because I'm used to coloured pencils in digital. Um, so then we have salad sitting on a chair, some more uh, jellyfish things. I've actually got a print of this that you could uh, get on Redbubble. This is uh, the sketch and it turned into this and you can get this on Redbubble if you want without the white border um, and I do plan on selling my originals but I just don't think that my originals are good enough to sell when stuff like this happens and I just don't think the quality is good so I mean obviously if somebody wanted it I, I would sell it but I would make a disclaimer that there is some problems here. This video is going to be long by the way, so get coffee or tea or a drink or whatever. Um, this is actually a copy from a book that Caden has. He has lots of children's books and I am inspired by some of them. So I redrew this <coughs> and I really like the way that the mouse came out. It's so cute. Um, these are swatches for my pineapple painting. And this is my pineapple paint in here, uh, so all these swatches are trying to figure out what colours I was going to use for that. Uh, this was a turning point in my art, I believe. Um, you can also get this on Redbubble and it's in a repeated pattern as well on some things that makes it a little bit cooler. Um, I didn't like the way this came out, it was a bit too squeezed in because of the paper size, but I learned a lot from this and I really do like it. Then we have, uh, after after like this point in time here, I there was a big gap. I didn't put the dates, I should really do that, put like the actual month and day. Um, but there was a big gap between this and this. And then I was inspired by the pineapple one that I decided I wanted to do portraits again. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I don't do portraits anymore. So um, I really wanted to try and do those again. This is some pictures of uh, flowers, obviously. These are definitely the Windsor Newton Cotman uh, paints. This is when I first got them and I was back into that again. This is a very embarrassing drawing uh, copied from Pinterest. This was from one of the scroller box things that I was going to do, but I decided not to do that video because scroller box. I'm just over scroller box at this point and doing videos. It just makes me too nervous. Um, this is actually based on a, a tutorial of by Jennifer. Oh my god, I can't remember her name. <laughs> I'll put her name on here. I can't remember her name. Oh my god, Jennifer Charlie Art. <laughs> there we go. Um, <laughs> I watched a tutorial and then a couple of days later I did this so that I didn't directly copy it. Um, this is one of my favourite drawings. I actually painted it this way round, um, but obviously it's upside down. So um, yeah, this is one of my favourite drawings. I did this in a video uh, about sketchbook fears, um, so that's exciting. I think I've did a tour of this already, I can't remember. This is an ice cream cone, didn't turn out exactly like I wanted it to. Me trying my hand at portrait, she came out really scary, but I really like uh, the fact that I'm dabbling in that again. Um, portrait of a woman and her face. I went a bit OTT on the eyelashes and the eye is a bit too big on this side and too far up or maybe this one's too small and too far down I don't know but there's some proportional issues going on there. This is when I started to get into sweet treat drawings. I was having a blast doing that. Party rings and strawberry covered, uh, chocolate covered strawberries, uh, midget gems, more party rings. I love the way that this midget gem came out and I think I will do a print of midget gems. I think they're just so adorable. Um, this is the cake painting. I don't have it to, to hand but I did uh, do this in a video where I was testing Archie's watercolour paper for the first time. This is a gouache painting that failed. Again, I don't want this video to, to be too long, it's nearly 10 minutes already. Uh, very cool chicken thing that came out really good, I really like this. I think I'll scan it in and put it on Redbubble if you want. Um, it's meant to be messy, it's not meant to be clean. This is uh, from a video that I did based on like how to fill your sketchbook up, I think. Um, and I went outside and my dad filmed me doing this part. 
some more sweet treats or rather biscuits. Those were really, really fun to do. I love doing this. This was around the time that I was moving. So it's funny that I always get inspired to draw when I'm moving and I don't have access to a lot of things. Um, these are the pencils from the scroller box thing. Some more swatches and things. Some more biscuits because I was absolutely addicted. I love the way this one came out. The depth of this one is really pretty. I love that. This was a video that I watched on Skillshare for Arla Bean. She showed you some skin tone colours that you could get maybe. Um, and then this was the start of watercolour month. Um, World Watercolour Month. Didn't really like the way that that one came out. And I kind of fell off the bandwagon with that. Went on to do landscapes, really happy that I tried to do this. Awesome, I love them. Um, they're really hard though. I did this goose, didn't like the way that came out, that's why I haven't posted it anywhere. Um, it's not even a goose, yeah, it is a goose. <laughs> I was like, it's a swan, no, it's a goose, it's a swan, it's a goose. Um, and then, oh my god, I didn't finish this one. I thought that I'd finished it. I haven't. Maybe I'll go back and finish these pages then, oh well. So I technically didn't finish this one but I feel like I've finished it. I don't know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages left. So maybe I'll do one a week to fill this one up and then it will be truly filled up and I'll be happy with it and you've seen all these random bits and pieces as well. Is there anything in the pocket? No, I never use the pockets. But that is my moleskin watercolour sketchbook that I'm really happy and proud of that I filled up this much considering I thought that I would never be able to do watercolour sketchbooks because they are really scary because they're expensive and I don't want to mess it up. Next up we have my first uh, sketchy sketchbook that I completed in 2018. This was in January. I do already have a flip through of this I believe so I'm just going to flip through them really quickly so that you can see. Um, Lilo and Stitch. These are from uh, Cassie Draws um, Study Nights stream. This was a concept that I did for meeting my boyfriend. A lot of salad drawings in this one as well. You've seen them multiple times so like I said I'm just gonna quickly go through them and I will link the videos uh, in the description that you can see these in a little bit more closer up thing. I really liked this drawing. It was from a Pinterest uh, reference. It was either a drawing or, or a or an actual picture, I'm not sure. Um, then we have lots more Pinterest stuff that fails. Pinterest stuff always fails to me, I don't know why I keep doing it. Um, but I'm trying to learn. I was testing a load of bunch of pens here to see what one I liked best. Um, practicing mice salad drawings. I really like the way that I drew him here but he's really hard to draw this way, I don't know. I really like this one as well. It's just really hard to draw. I can't draw them very well. Uh, body practice. <clears throat> the dude from the Smurfs, can't remember his name. Facts about Rockwell, no not Rockwell, it's Jack Russell's. And then a little Jack Russell drawing. More facts about dogs, bulldogs, um, what one's this one, golden retriever, squirrels, brown, oh, a bit, uh, a bit, I used to know how to say that but now I don't, squirrels, um, this girl that actually, that I found on Pinterest that reminded me of my cousin Julie, because <laughs> she's got really frizzy hair, uh, paws, I like the way that these paws came out. Again, some like bear drawings and stuff. Salad drawings, salad drawings. Again, you've seen these, so I'll just go by it really quickly just so that you can have a little look, see. I just like to have all of my sketchbooks in the one video because I do plan on cutting them up. I don't know if I'm gonna cut up this one though because there is a lot of drawings on either side that I do like. Um, so I'm not sure I will go through them, but there is a book that I have that I like to um, cut up my drawings and put them inside there to keep them all together. Uh, maybe I should stop drawing on either side of the page, but I think that that's a waste. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe I'll need to find a better way to store my sketchbooks or use the same size as sketchbooks so that it doesn't get mucked up. 
I have a video on this one as well, so I will go super fast. This is from February. So I finished that one. I technically finished the watercolour one and I definitely did not finish this one, but I pretended that I did because there's a lot of pages in the back that are scribbled on by Caden. So again, we'll go through this one really quickly so that you guys can see. Um, at this point in time, I was just doing a lot of Pinterest stuff. Just This is meant to be the sketchbook where I don't care. Um, this is when I was going to do the time travel one, but I obviously can't draw humans, so it was really hard for me, so I didn't do it. Again, lots of Pinterest stuff. Um, I was just trying to practice drawing as much as possible, and when I don't have anything in my mind that I want to draw, then I just go to Pinterest, which is 90% of the time that I don't have anything that I want to draw. And I just copy either other people's artwork or uh, just pictures of people. Um, a little bit of nudity there. Uh, so yeah, just having stuff. Moving in with Leanne and my son. I didn't move in with Leanne and my son then, her son then. That was years ago, but I decided to try and draw it out. Um, mice, Scotland versus Wales were playing. Um, my other half is Welsh and I'm Scottish, so that was awkward. Uh, not that I care about rugby. This is a drawing that I copied from Rodgon. Rodgon. Um, trying to do my own versions of people, of myself basically. More Pinterest stuff. This is meant to be my dad, but it came out really, really bad. Uh, this is from Schmoo Draws. I tried to redraw it in my own style, didn't really work. Uh, Pinterest drawing Mickey as a punk, um, practicing things. This is actually from a Tom Bancroft Skillshare video. Uh, toddlers from The Sims, just more drawings of people and things. This was a tutorial from Art à la carte actually, I uh, didn't finish it though. It was too hard for me and I didn't really want to draw that stuff. Uh, this is a Sims 4 drawing, Sims 4, Sims 4, and then another study night I believe, or maybe I just did it on my own, I can't remember, or maybe it was study night, I don't know. Um, Disney sketches, other types of sketches, a comic of how me and Matt met, uh, not finished obviously, the morning after Valentine's Day where everybody's skint. Um, especially men because apparently men are the ones that are supposed to treat the women but why can't women treat the men as well this video is already 18 minutes long oh my gosh let's go faster uh, trying to draw myself and my family here a lot of exploring and trying to draw myself and and um, certain things uh, I feel like I developed a lot this year in my art even though it doesn't feel like it in the moment sometimes if you look back at these drawings then you're like oh I actually did do a lot and I did try and uh, I did level up a little bit as well so Pinterest a load of scribbling because I was really angry Pinterest 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 some of them weren't Pinterest actually that wasn't Pinterest that was me trying to draw Matt again um, I just find it really hard to stay consistent in my art a lot of the times. Pinterest, that was the concept for the uh, video that we did with the, the art swap with Tor. Tor art swap. Salad, the pineapple thing. See, I was all over the place with all these books. Uh, Pinterest animals, I think some of them are so cute. Uh, see this is from the scholar box thing again I've got it in like three different sketchbooks uh, Pinterest faces Pinterest faces I'm hurrying up we all know this is gonna be a long video I don't care if you watch it or not let's slow down a bit <laughs> Pinterest salad drawings another scroller box thing I was just trying to fill up the pages um, so it's bouncing back and forth. I hate this paper by the way. I'm never buying one of these again. I actually put one into charity to donate um, yesterday when I was going through my stuff. I think that's the last drawing or so. Yeah, more Pinterest animal things. Pinterest animals and this is the last one. 
uh, basically the rest of them are just doodles from Caden which you see in my other flip through of this thing. Next up is this one that I started in April with the intention to completely finish. I think Alexa is trying to talk to me or something. Um, did this as a first page sketchbook fear drawing and I didn't like the way that came out so I scrapped it and drew that donut that you've seen. Um, more Pinterest animals, more Pinterest animals. I was really into drawing the Pinterest animals. Uh, they're actually done by artists and then I've copied the artist's drawings um, of the animals. So I hate it when I do that because I'm like I can't share this now, it's not my artwork. <laughs> And I don't know who did it because Pinterest is rubbish, or I'm rubbish for looking up ref uh, for looking up the credits for the artists. So a lot of frustration with this book. I just don't like the paper anymore. This was my favourite sketchbook in 2017, and it just isn't anymore. And then we move on to this one, which is a big disappointment, not going to lie. Um, I set out with a good intention of filling up goals. This started in May 2018. Um, good intentions, trying to practice drawing. Hated the paper, hated the size and thickness of this book. Just didn't like it whatsoever. So I did try, but then, you know, it fell apart. <laughs> this book is also, um, I took it to the park area with my dad and that's in the same video as the one I mentioned about my dad earlier. Uh, just practicing little different body shapes and trying to remind myself that characters don't have to be in proportion. They, they can be different shapes and sizes and it doesn't matter as long as it looks semi okay and as long as you're happy with it of course. I'm trying to draw red pandas because they are my favourite animals. I'm trying to draw a weird looking hand. Pinterest animals again. Pinterest animals again, um, and again, and again, just loved that stuff, um, Pinterest references, Pinterest references, my art is so inconsistent, like, for months and months it'll be good and then for months and months it'll be bad, uh, this is when I was going to do the challenge where you get uh, two or three different animals and you combine them together. So this was armadillo or pink fairy armadillo and chameleon. So I drew pink fairy armadillo first, drew the chameleon and then I tried to merge them together and I wasn't having the best of times. But this little concept, I really liked the way that this came out and I thought it looked cute. And this is what I came up with at the end. But the sketch wasn't really executed and I didn't go any further. I was going to make it into a video but I decided not to because they just I just wasn't proud of the art. Um, that stuff when I decided to, when we got chucked out of our house, um, about the deposit, getting the deposit back. <laughs> and then this turned into me and Caden drawn together, so I would draw on this side and he would draw on that side. Uh, we were drawing robots, I believe. Yeah, robots. Um, half human, half robots. Uh, I wrote down little notes to remind me what he was going for. Pupil hit his head, a uh, human, what does it say, human turning into robot, uh, on a table very hard, always says odd, on odd, 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 that was Caden's description of his robot, high five emoji, that's what he was drawing there, um, yeah, and then I tried to come back into this book after that and I just didn't like it whatsoever. So the paper feels really recycled, which isn't a bad thing, but it's just not for me. So again, lots of wasted paper. I probably will fill this up at some point, who knows. We're getting there, only three more to go and most of them are not filled up so you'll be happy to know that we're almost done. Um, this is my big sketchbook that I decided to dedicate to learning stuff on Skillshare. So it's a lot of writing, a lot of diagrams, um, a lot of things and notes from those classes. Um, I didn't get very far with Skillshare and sitting down to actually do this. Time just gets away with you and you forget that you can make time. Um, Again, this is another Skillshare class, uh, more Skillshare stuff, just all of the Skillshare 
that I could possibly find for learning how to draw. I took a lot of notes. Um, and then this was when I started my artistic journey series and I was going to post this as a video. This is a contour, blind contour drawing and um, where I was just looking at the thing that I was looking at and then I drew and I actually really like these. Like if I had looked at this and drew it like this I would hate it but because I wasn't looking and I was just not lifting up my pen I had fun and it came out really funky looking something that I would never draw before and I really like this style especially this one um considering they're so the proportions are all right um I really like this one because it's so in proportion and or not in proportion then I tried to draw my hand a bunch of times more notes about horses that I didn't start to draw I just drew the notes and left the diagrams never do that if you want to learn something just do it don't write the notes and then say I'll come back to it later and then this was Tom Bancroft's uh, simple shapes for anatomy kind of thing. Um, I learned a lot from Tom Bancroft's and I actually bought his book afterwards. This is um, his princess uh, Skillshare class, um, character concept art, Charlie Bus Booster. This is more, uh, more Tom Bancroft stuff. I think I learned a lot from his brother as well. I think his name is Tim. Um, I put a little sticker on there. More Tom, Tom Bancroft stuff. I really, it really clicked with me with proportions on this uh, thing. But if I just don't look at this or don't go back to the tutorial, then I just forget how to do stuff. So this is where I started to just try and do it on my own. Um, and just didn't work. This is where he was teaching us how to draw a superhero or something. Um, and that is it for this book, I believe. I, I really like this sketchbook. It's really good. It's by Dealer Renee. It's a graduate sketchbook and I like the A4 size. This is the same moleskin that I had in the beginning. Uh, this one except it is relatively smaller. Tor sent me this and I've been using this to uh, practice little things. Obviously the first thing that I did was do the concept art for her um, collab but then I went on to draw these little fruit things <laughs> and I really enjoyed doing this. Um, and I think that a lot of things could come out of doing these little drawings. This page fell out. I do plan to sellotape it in later. Um, but yeah, and this is some watermelons. And then I started to do jammy dodgers. More jammy, do jammy dodgers. And I haven't finished this one because I am working in it currently. Um, but I really enjoy doing these little patterned uh, things. And it's like no pressure sketchbook. This is my bad decision sketchbook. I bought this because it was square and I thought that I would like it. It's very thick. I know that I don't like thick sketchbooks but I bought it because it was square. I need to buy uh, the other book that's going around that's square just now. Um, but yeah, I'm not really happy with this but I'm working in it just now and I am drawing in it as much as possible. I started it on September the 29th um, and I drew little concepts of salad. Um, really trying to hone down on his colours and his his uh, aesthetic there. Um, I tried markers for this first time in a while again. I did not like it. I think it was because of the paper. Um, not because it bled through here but because it bleeds in feathers when you use them on this paper. Uh, I didn't mention what this is. Sea White of Brighton sketchbook. You can get them in Hobbycraft for £8 or something. Um, me trying to draw myself again, really failing at that. Um, I think this was at the start of Inktober where I was going to participate but then I decided not to. So I just stopped and started to try and draw my son again. My son again, me and my son. Just trying to get the proportions down and really failing. Um, really failing at that. More Pinterest stuff. I really like this drawing. This was a drawing of uh, something that I copied on Pinterest. Same with this. Trying to draw salad again. Trying to draw Caden again. Um, this is more accurate to the way that he looks right now. 
Um, his face is slightly different, he's got smaller eyes, but it was just for character aesthetics, really. Um, I really like the way that this came out. I was trying to just sketch portraits again. See, I write no next to things. I'm like, no, <laughs> that was bad. Move on, basically. Um, just trying to draw myself and really failing. Honestly, I just don't know how to draw anymore. Um, and then this is what I did today. Trying to get proportions right again. So that is all of my sketchbooks for 2018. Obviously I did not finish them. Five unfinished sketchbooks at different stages. And I have three finished ones even though this has got seven pages left I still count this as finished but I will actually leave that out today and sketch in that today. Um, so two out of the six that I tried to finish. Oh God, what is happening? I don't know, but I'm not happy with myself at all. Um, not happy with myself at all. Uh, but yeah, just gonna, just gonna arrange these in an aesthetically try to arrange these in an aesthetically pleasing way that's not pleasing but yeah those are my sketchbooks guys and uh i'm not particularly happy that i didn't finish six but i believe i have the potential to finish six next year i had a really rough year with sketchbooks this year didn't really think that it was a good idea to do them um but i'm happy that i tried and I can only try harder next year so I'm not disappointed with myself too much but I think that I'm happy. Anyway guys I'm going to end this video thank you so much for watching and uh, please remember to comment down below and tell me what sketchbooks you were working in this year if you liked just sketching if you did a lot of watercolour sketches um, how many you finished and all of that fun stuff in the in the comment section below and uh, remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!